Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to explain the LinSpace operator in MATLAB. So this is a really handy feature that it outputs um, evenly spaced values between two numbers. So what do I mean by this? Um, let me go over to my command window and let me type in A equals LinSpace going from negative 2 to positive 2. So what this does is it picks 100 values by default that are evenly spaced from negative 2 all the way to positive 2, including negative 2 and positive 2. So if I press enter, now I'm going to see a vector basically with a bunch of numbers that are evenly spaced ranging from negative 2 all the way to positive 2. Okay, so if you guys remember, um, there are an infinite amount of values between two numbers. So if you want the lint space operator to display more than 100 evenly spaced values, you can just type in, um, let's choose a different value. So let's go with B equals lint space. And this time I want to go from like negative 5 to positive 5. And instead of 100 um, the values that are between these two numbers that I want MATLAB to display by default, this time I'm just going to pick 400, okay? And now my command window is pretty much going to get flooded with 400 evenly spaced values going from negative 5 to positive 5. And there we go. And this just goes on forever. So um, you don't necessarily also remember that need, you don't necessarily need to go from one negative number to one positive number. You could also go from, you know, two positive numbers. So you could go from C equals lint space. Um, let's pick two positive numbers. So you can go from like four to six, and then this will pretty much pick um, 100 evenly spaced values going from four all the way to six. Um, Generally speaking, um, you, you, you want to suppress the lint space operator. You don't really need to um, flood your command window with, with these numbers, um, unless you need it, of course. So lint space usually fits within the MATLAB code. Um, I have a plotting video on my channel where I use the lint space operator there. So check out the link in the description below um, where you're going to see how I fit in the lint space within my code. So. I think that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment, smash the like button. It'll help out the channel and put the video out there for other people to see. So that's all I got for this one. See you guys later. Peace.